Guys, we're finally playing My Friendly Neighborhood. I am so excited about this. I cannot wait to play this game. I played the demo. It was so much fun. It was absolutely terrifying. Highly recommend watching the demo play. Uh, and I have been putting off playing this game until I was able to like sit down and actually play it. I can't wait. I, I can't wait. Let's go. Let's just go. I saw oh. something. I felt something, maybe. It was more real than reality. Mm -hmm. I felt like I was lost, walking through this dark tunnel, and the ground beneath me stretched on for an eternity. Felt like I was dying. Oh. He swerved out of his lane, striking a passenger van that started a pile up, killing seven. In oh. weather, we'll all be sad to see another band of thunderstorms heading toward the city tomorrow night. Okay. I just had this insane sense of, of um, emptiness and terror, and I just, I just... I don't care who she sees. Okay. We're not even married anymore. She can see whoever she wants. Okay. This is an interesting... So, so Ashley, what did you do to end up solving the problem? I ignored it. Tried to forget. I watched television. And that helped? It dulls the pain. Ah. You're gonna scam the Ooh. Okay. Okay. Last job of the day. What's this one about? In Sprocket Palm Property Management. Work order request. Client City Network Broadcasting Group. Property 123 Sunrise Street. Date July 8th, 1993. <clears throat> Crewman assigned Jordan Gordon J. O'Brien. That's us. Description of problem. Vacant studio lot regained power last night and began televising over top normal programming. The client has requested that the broadcast array at the top of the central hotel be disabled to prevent further incidents. Supervisor signature J. Note. Crewman O'Brien is on probation for sullen and impolite behavior towards clients. Failure to satisfactorily complete this work order will result in termination. Okay. <clears throat> Do we have anything else in here? No. Got that in the war. Last time I stick my neck out for someone. Disabled Tana. Oh. The last job of the day is always the worst. I feel like I'm stippy stepping pretty heavily. Okay, on in we go. There's an elevator. Maybe it still works. That's weird. What on earth? Is this glue? Okay. Ring, Ring me. me. Okay. Ooh, don't don't love this. We get a little show? What is happening? Raise ah. the curtain! Bring up the lights! The neighborhood is coming to town! Uh, okay. hello. I'm here to disconnect the antenna. Television's heartbeat has returned. A spirit of cheer brightens every child's eye. The cry goes round the kindergarten class. The neighborhood! The neighborhood! Does it? Okay. I I'm here <laughs> to disconnect the antenna. I am Ricky the Sock. Your television will never be the same. We- hold on. Did you say disconnect the antenna? Yes, that's what we've been yes. trying to say. <laughs> oh my, no, 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 no. <laughs> you mustn't do that. That would be a catastrophe. Um... It's broadcasting over the news. The news? No, no, trust me. The antenna is just fine as it is. Doesn't need any disconnecting. Tell you what, you wait here and, and I'll... <clears throat> and I'll, uh... 
I'll get you, I'll get you some. <coughs> Isn't pleasant. I'm gonna take a sec. Um, okay then. Gordon, I'm with you. Also, Gordon, I know that, um, we've met Gordon before, but, like, Gordon is such a strong name. Can I... That was... special. It was. Okay. Cool. We stippy step heavy. Okay, so let's go look at stage four because that's the key that we got. Hey, who's that? An aviary. Oh, oh. Okay, that's convenient. Okay, so we saw. A Norman go this way? Um, we should have a key. Ooh. Okay, now we're inside. I don't love that. Hey, money. Actually, can I look around at all? No, that's it. Okay. This week saw the premiere of the new series on the City Network aimed at preschool-aged children, My Friendly Neighborhood. The show centers on The Friendly Neighborhood and its resident puppets who, with the help of adults like Stevie, uh, teach viewers about a variety of subjects including numbers, letters, and how to be a friendly neighbor. The show's catch-all term for age-old lessons about caring and sharing. While adult viewers may find their messages trite, children's hearts are captured by the neighbors. Each felt furball becomes a beloved friend whose words are hung onto with a trust and devotion rarely seen in older audiences. Previously aired as Ricky and Friends on independent public access television, the series and creator Al uh, Gertzwald were recently signed by the City Network Broadcasting Group, and production moved to the historic City Network Hotel studio on the west side. Their move into the big leagues of broadcasting was accompanied by... Text is illegible. Okay, I guess we just get to hold on to that. ABC Right. Is this where they came up with ideas? Oh, I don't love that. Ooh, I did not like that. You know what they say, let me just open this door. Yep, that was smart. Oh, I should have explored more. Hey yo, I'm Norman. I'm Hello? a really Norman guy. Is anyone there? Just kinda, uh, let me do another. Uh, the ears through. No, no. <clears throat> Yay! I love that one. <laughs> ooh. Ooh, don't like this. It's fine, it's okay. What the heck is going on here? <laughs> Give me a task, and I'll give you a craft. I like to start with pipe cleaners to give myself something to make shapes out of. I'll make triangles and squares and circles and patch them all together. Craft. I don't I like to. I like to start with pipe cleaners to give myself something to make shapes out of. I'll make triangles and squares and circles and patch them all together. Then the fun part starts. Take your closest friend and separate all of their parts into little piles based on color. This will be what you make your crafts out of. I like to use Norman because he has all sorts of oranges and reds I can use. Now I start patching my piles of red onto the pipe cleaners. Look, see, I made a ball of Leonard I. What do you think, Leonard Love? Oh, sure, being a lump is great. <laughs> okay, no, that's normal. It's so very normal. It's locked. Oh, actually, wasn't expecting that to open. Can I close that? Ooh. Ooh! Uh, 
press tab to open your inventory. Oops. Uh, this is episode 16 script. The neighborhood is having an outdoor bazaar. Everyone is lining up at Leonard's antique display to try on a beautiful pair of earrings. Pearl enters, sees the earrings, and cuts into the line, pushing Liliana out of the way and causing a commotion. Stevie standing up from a bench. Pearl, that wasn't nice. Pearl's sheepish, Pearl sheepishly glances around at the others, who are all glowering at her, uh, and hunches in shame. Stevie, you can't just push people out of the way to get what you want, Pearl. It's more friendly to think about other people first, don't you see? Pearl shakes her head timidly. Well, maybe this will make it clear. Put another before yourself song. Put another before yourself before you go see if someone needs help. What about this guy? Ooh, bathroom. I don't want to inspect the toilet. Really? Oh. Okay, I'm glad I inspected the toilet, I guess. No handle. No handle. Ooh. I learned my numbers when I was a kid. <laughs> Here, let me show you how I learned. Hold your hands up in the air. Now, bring them down in front of your face. See? That's two hands. Uh -huh. Now, take one of your hands, put it in your mouth, and swallow as hard as you can. Now you have one hand inside your stomach and one hand outside. This is the best part. Take your other hand, put it next to the hand in your mouth, and swallow again. <laughs> now you have two hands in your stomach. That's how numbers work. Oh. <laughs> Ooh. Ooh. I don't like the sounds of this. It's locked. Okay. We got a wrench. Press the left button to swing the wrench. Sometimes we would swap. We're all fucked. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. I think he launched into the next century. So I guess I'm just gonna. Go on in. <laughs> what do you do when you get upset? Do you let it get you down? Let me show you about the time that mommy. Oh, hey. Okay. All right. Ooh, map. Nice. Oof. Oh, nice. It's, oh, it's awful sounding. Hey! Nice. Okay. Okay. Yeah, I should have knocked her out. Oh, 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 man, that's gonna hurt. I don't have any tape. That was it? Uh, you stop and think about it. The letters are going. Ah, ah. They're doing what? They're doing, huh? Oh, boy. Okay. Hey. There oh, hey, you are. Ricky. Now don't toddle off again. I've got some snackaroos waiting back in the lobby. Hey, what's going on here? Your puppet friends are attacking me. Oh, are they? How embarrassing. By the way, what's your name? What's your name? What? Your name, your moniker, your handle, your nom de plume. It's Gordon. Gordon? What a beautiful name! I could say it all day! Gordon! 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 Is this a gun? Does it work? Oh my, that's where I left that. I was hey, hey. for it all over the place! Hey! Ah. Ah. 
fine. If you're gonna go gallivanting all over the place, then at least watch out for Pearl. Pearl? You know, the enormous bird that crushes people. Don't get on her bad side is all Okay. <laughs> what was that? Okay, let's do this. Oh, man. Can I... I don't have any tape. Wasted alphabet, huh? Uh, I finally got it working. It's real beaut. I think I'll call it ston uh, ston stenographer. Oh, okay. So that's the weapon that we got. I don't have any tape. Is there anything else in here? Where am I? Here. Like, I have no tape, so you guys just stay there. <laughs> How's that sound? Blue circle key. Mine now. Circle door in here now. Hmm. Fading away into the darkness. I don't like this at all. Huh. I can't do anything about that. I'm a craft monster! <laughs> you give me a task, and I'll give you a craft! Secret. I like to Ooh. Nice. Oh. This must be one of the old sets. Okay. This is terrible. That's quite a bird. We would think so go my way. I know it's not right, but sometimes I can't help myself. I stand my feet and spin around and scream and yell and scream and yell. But I shouldn't. Getting mad is bad. Okay. I choose horseradish sauce. Man, I start brushing my teeth. Get every single part of your mouth covered. Let the horseradish teeth. You. Ooh, nice. What is happening? Why is there so many sounds? I can't process literally anything. Okay, it's pizza time. Oh, oh, is this what unlocks? Nice. Um, mushroom. Many are in here. <laughs> Come on. Another letter. Nice. <laughs> awful. That was awful. That wasted so many. I'm taping you is the smart plan here. Please let me into this room. Hallelujah. Oh, ha! It was terrifying. Okay, okay. Learn the alphabet? What's the alphabet? Oh, that's easy. It's what words are made out of. Oh, you mean like the ones that I see in my books? <laughs> oh, Another interesting. Girl? A is for Apomilidity. B is for Blastocity. C is for Kamamurda. And all the rest. <laughs> D, E, Gangrene, H I J Karinakisis, and Z is for uh Z Z is for uh nice. Well, uh, uh, 
I'm a taxi cab. Well, 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 it's time for, uh, what does Norman notice? Well, let's see here. Uh, what does Norman notice? Oh. Oh, 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 good. Okay, we're gonna heal. Okay, and we're gonna save. I think that'll be our first save. Pepperoni. A duet with myself. Okay, so because we're in the back. When you go to the park, bring some food for all the wild animals. For birds, you can bring oh. sunflower seeds. For squirrels, you can bring peanuts. For dogs, you can bring squirrels. For the sewer grape, you can bring just nice. leftovers. Nice. <laughs> <laughs> oh, nice. Nice, nice. And we need to get up on top of the pizza shop, I think, is where the um, other guy, the pepperoni, is. And then anchovy is in the main one. So. Okay, let's do anchovy and then we'll swap it to pepperoni. Okay, and then back to pepperoni. This over here. Oh, nice. Gross. Um, this area. Oh, oh, I have this. I have the key. I have the key for this one. Oh, fudge! I just wasted a bullet. I need to save that ammo. Oh no, no, no. Uh uh. Nope. Bad. Get out of there. Don't. Yep. Hi. You're gonna attack me. I'm gonna have to punch you. Yep. Yep. This is awful. This is terrible. I'm. I hate. I don't. And the, I, could we. Could we move? Could we move and not be here? Could we move and not be here? Oh. Oh. Ha! Ah. Panic paused moments before disaster. Oh, oh panic paused. Stupid puppet. Oh. <laughs> oh, is it the? <laughs> okay, so anchovy. Nice. So we swap it back to you. Um, and then we can. Actually, okay. Looks like it's for mail. Really? Really? <laughs> Looks like it's for mail. No, duh! Okay, we have this key. If you can draw, you can do all sorts of things. Grab your pencil and let's go on an adventure. Okay. I really don't like how many of these there are. Um. Oh! Uh. Neighbor. Nice. No idea what that is. Maybe this unlocks a different part of the studio. So we got everything except for that. That door's locked. Um, we could go back to the dressing room? I don't- we didn't get- we don't have any types of keys. We have square and- 
Whatever those are. Stage two. Okay. Let's go back. Let's go back. Stage two. This way, right? Oh, <laughs> brain cells are trying. They're really trying here, man. Okay, it's dark out now. I don't like that. I don't like the neon lights either. It's time to fix. I don't like that. It's locked. Secret entrance. Shh. Oh boy. This is how we get stuck somewhere. There we go. Saw that. Coming. Oh! Attack that well, carpet. No getting back up that way. This is where the this is where the demo started. This is where the demo started. Oh heck yeah. Okay. Oh dear, oh my. You seem to be stranded in the basement. Um. How do I get out of here, Ricky? Oh, haven't a clue. Never come down here myself. Why? What's got your overalls in a knot? <laughs> I'm trying to get to the roof. The roof? <laughs> What's so interesting about the roof? Down here's much oh, more Lord. intriguingly musty. Unrelated, how do you feel about blood force head drama? What is it this time? Well, Ray, of course. He's the best sort of monster janitor thing. But he's a little obsessed with, uh, organic maintenance. Mm. Tends to pop out of pipes and clobber people with his wrench. Great. Mm. Are all of you puppets crazy? Well, Ray has always been a little grouchy, even before the shutdown. That's why they moved him down here. Only way out is by elevator, and he can't figure out how to use the buttons. Elevator. <laughs> Got it. Oh, silly me. I forgot about the elevators. Really, Gordon, I wouldn't bother. The cables are probably rusted. I don't think they even run anymore. I'll take my chances. Wow, you're so courageous and stuff. Look, I gotta go wash my hair. Okay. Okay. Stupid puppets. Very bright in this space. Is that open? It does open. Uh, we got a Oh, it's been adapted a little bit. Okay, okay. They've changed it around a little bit. Due to the construction of the new stages, this blast door has been locked using a punch card combination. Insert the appropriate punch cards in the three terminals to open the door. Uh, the machine can be used as a, to replace. Okay. It's missing a piece. I remember this. I don't remember how to get the things, but... Whip. That was dumb. That was dumb. That was bad. Okay. Do do do. All right. West basement. Whopper leaves one by one each piece is swapped, and then we are back to normal. <laughs> that's that's what we get. Welcome to to our our. <coughs> I can spew all sorts of things. Blah, 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 yeah. Blah. Yeah, this is, uh, this is, I feel a little bit comfortable in this area, because 
we uh, we experienced this space before. Hey! Who's there? Look, there he is. Uh, let's get the light turned on. Wee. Clever. I'm not gonna read the script again. It's a uh, race workshop. Dag nab it. Jeez, that gave me a scare. What was that? Not what, but who? Uh, looks like part of it's missing. Hi, guys. Beep, 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 beep. Not allowed to pick it up, huh? Okay. Oh, this one's hand drawn. This is cute. This is clever. Uh, war is over after 20 years of fighting. The city government has finally declared a complete withdrawal from the troops uh, from the northern continent. Called the War of Horrors, a conflict which mainly involved guerrilla confrontations in the rainforest, resulted in almost 100,000 casualties. Unlike previous homecomings, veterans returning to the city's main docks were booed and hissed, reflecting the negative attitude of many adults towards those who volunteered to serve in the war, hoping to protect their home, but in the eyes of the public, helping to perpetrate these horrors. The Northern War has also been called the first war fought in the living room due to the televised newsreels that kept civilians at home up to date with new events overseas. Yeah, we do. Okay. Ooh. Different. This is a terrifying space. Okay. Then onwards we go. See what's this way? Aha! Uh, I'm the novelist. I was hanging around the office last night to keep the pipes from freezing, so I had time to work out the kinks of my latest project. The output is pretty flashy. It uses up a lot of letters, so I'll need to conserve ammo. This guy? Nice. Let's get writing. Nice. Glad I held on to those shells then. That's it. Okay. That's it for that area. Cool guy. Alright. It feels like it's a little adapted. Chain over the handle, okay. I'm gonna tape you. I know you're a problem. <laughs> I'm gonna tape you. I know you're a problem. Oh, hey. Uh, Puppets Pirates Cove, a triumph for the family. Four out of five stars. As the My Friendly Neighborhood franchise grows, it's inevitable for Griswold's precocious puppets to make the move to the big screen. Fortunately, their first outing is appealing to more than just the younger crowd. Everything from the uh, sets... Wow, okay, to the scintilla scintillating? Scintillating? Oh, score. Brings the swashbuckling spirit into the theater in a way that both children and adults can appreciate. The plot centers around a young lady named Clark, Jerry Love of everyone fame, who sets sail with the puppets in search of a treasure. They soon, however, discover that the terrifying Captain Crocodile is in control of the ship, and it's up to Clark and his plucky sea hand friend Ricky to... Okay. 
awkward. Okay. Nice. Uh. Okay, there's a lot of stuff in there. More tape. That's different. Hi. Okay. Nice. Uh, there's no room in my toolbox. Okay. Um, let me use confirm. Move. You guys are so big. I'm gonna have to reorganize that. Oh, fudge. Okay, is that everything in this space? It is not. Oh. Oh! All right, just stay there then, I guess. So we've got the piece that goes in here. Um, can I re... Okay, I'll just... Um... Oh, shoot! Welcome! 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 To... to there it is! Okay. Uh, we should be able to add... Yeah. Nice. The so three... Three, ten, and seven, I think. So three is... Um... Square, square, triangle. Square, square, triangle. Is three square square triangle is three. Square square triangle should go here. Nice. Okay. And then ten is it's gonna be six and two and two. So, circle, square, square. Okay, so circle, square, square. And then... And then it should be... Circle, square, triangle for our next one. If I'm correct. Nice. Cool. We did it. We did it, boys. We did it. Oh. Okay. Wow. I wonder how deep this goes. Yeah, me too. What's going on down here? What's going on?
I always start by getting ready for bed. First, I get my DJs running right to the bathroom. What do I eat? My food. I eat a table in the bathroom and grab my toothbrush. You can put any of the food in my jaws. I choose mayonnaise. Then I start brushing my food. You can get some of that. Ouais. Ok. Ok, so they've changed up like a considerable amount of this actually. That's nice. Is there anything that I needed in that space? Because I didn't explore all of it. Okay. Um back back in, please. What's this way? Nice, the boat. The boat! Yeah, that's lovely. Take the boat back to. Oh. Um, this should connect us to the other side. Oh. I don't like this. Puppets. <laughs> oh, that's fantastic. That's just a heal. Okay. You know, I don't actually like that there's just a heal there. June 17, 1975. Letter to the editor. As the mother of a four-year-old who is devoted to my friendly neighborhood, I'm frightened by the tone of morals on the show. Just yesterday, one of the characters said you should always think of others before you're yourself, even it, when it's uncomfortable. But what if someone takes advantage of you for doing that? What if doing what's uncomfortable ends up exposing you to hurt and danger? Is it really a good idea to teach children to be so reckless to their own well-being? I want my daughter to live the fullest life she can, so I don't want some TV producer filling her head with dangerous, self-sabotaging ideas. I think from now on she'll watch something else. Oh, it's this guy. Someone keeps taking the breakers they use to open these doors, so I put them in the lockboxes around the basement. Here's a map of where they are in case you need it. Janitor Hank? It's Ray. Ray's been taking the keys. Okay. Strange kind of breaker box. Alright, so we saw... Flowers? How lovely. This is heart. Okay, so that one's first. Okay. And this will be where we stop today. Um, this has been super fascinating. I have been loving every single second of this. Uh, I'm really excited now that we're in the portion that we did in the demo, like how that's going to change because piece of, pieces of it are um, the exact same, but it has adapted. It is different. And so I'm really interested to see where that goes. Uh, thank you so much for being here for part one of the official My Friendly Neighborhood. And I can't wait to see you guys in the next one. Bye. Thank you.